Hello and welcome back everyone. And fourth here with even more Star Wars The Old Republic playing as Ava Far here on the prologue world of Typhon. And where we last left off we dealt with a shield generator guarding the Flesh Raiders command center that our master then Augustin managed to assault. In so doing he located various other Flesh Raider bases of operations, one of which is in the ruins of Upper Kalef. He has asked us to go deal with that certain base of operations. It seems the Jedi Order is rather spread thin right now and he needs all the help he can get. So, that's where we're going. Uh, is there anything we need to do before we head on that way? Mm, not offhand. There's bound to be a quest or two we can pick up on the way, of course. Reminder, mechanized travel is for official business only. Get ourselves back over to the Jedi Temple. Go to the Jedi Temple. Oh, NPCs are having a chat again, so that's going to pop up in just a moment. We'll have to fight the Flesh Raiders ourselves. Round up a militia, try another attack, something. The last time we went out, they ate people. Ate them. What choice do we have? So that's the Twi'lek saying they should go to the Jedi and ask for more aid against the Flesh Raiders. So Liam wants to have a word. We'll leave him for now. Report your ailments. You are fit for duty. Return to your post. And we'll head towards the Jedi encampment just outside of the Kalef ruins. how I feel about this series so far. I'm certainly enjoying returning to playing as a Jedi once again, but how I feel about playing as a Jedi compared, compared to a bounty hunter. A bounty hunter, because they're not really tied to the Empire, they don't have the expectation as a Sith compared to if you say play as a Sith warrior or an, or an Inquisitor. And it's the same with the Jedi, there's a lot more gravitas, there's a lot more weight, responsibility behind your actions. So during dialogue and cutscenes and such, I'm feeling a lot more pressure to choose correctly, not only as just a Jedi, but as a Jedi of Ava Var's leanings, where she is more emotional. Before we head to the ruins of Upper Kalef, we might as well pick up the heroic mission and see what that's all about. Rest here, my friend. The air is cold and the mountain paths are treacherous. Words are unnecessary when the Force is with you. What's a Jedi doing all the way out here? My name is Dozan. I stand watch over Kalef, and I walk the path surrounding its grounds. I meditate upon my failure. And I learn of our past. As a Padawan, I came to Kaleth. Here I touched temptation and the dark side. Having failed once, I now act through other Jedi. Many helped me find knowledge of ancient Tython. Your mission sounds like a noble one. The task is difficult, but also calming. I look at Kaleth from afar, but never touch. By trusting others to walk where I cannot, I broaden my perspective. Lately, I've learned of a chamber hidden in Upper Kaleth, one central to a Tythonian machine. I'd very much like to restore the chamber's power. The old scrolls describe it as a place of knowledge and speech. Beyond that, I don't know its function, but it should do harm to no one. Without energy, the chamber has slept for millennia, yet there are droids in the ruins that still function and you might use their power cells to fuel the machine. It's a good suggestion. I'll do what I can. Then go and tend this electric garden, 
Plant the droid seeds in the soil of the machine. Together, we'll bring the Tythonian secrets to light. Okay. Simply some sort of library is held within the ruins of Kalef that still may be functional. Of course, unfortunately, he has somehow got word or the knowledge that we may require the power cores of the droids to reactivate the machine. So when you pick up heroic missions, whether or not you get them from the NPCs or from a heroic mission terminal, you'll also gain a heroic item known as Heroic Transport. This item allows you to travel to a safe area just outside of the heroic mission area. Now the heroic mission is actually far to the west within the ruins of Kaleth. Yeah, before. Now, the Flesh Raider base of operations is just to the west there. Or just to the south, I should say. Let us go this way first. You have some ancient learning machines here. If you're playing as a Jedi Consular, you could learn upon the wisdom of the ancient Force users here from Typhon. So if we go along and up this hill, it'll head us to head towards the Chamber of Speech. We head along this way, though, we can find our first Datacron. There it is over there. So Datacrons are relics, holocrons, holding vast knowledge and history of something known as the Infinite Empire. If you want to learn more about the Infinite Empire and some of the ancient history codexes, you can interact with them. In addition, when you interact with a certain Datacron, you'll get so a bonus to your stats. So, for example, if we find that one here, Typhon, this one is a purple Mastery Datacron. Mastery used to be split into four individual attributes, each, each specifically for a certain class. So you had strength for Jedi Knights or Sith Warriors, willpower for Jedi Consulars and Sith Inquisitors, you had Cunning for Smugglers and Imperial Agents. And finally, you, you had Aim for Troopers and Bounty Hunters. And there were, each bit of gear might actually have certain stats. So, for example, Troopers and Jedi Guardians can both wear heavy armor. But there might be some heavy armor which has strength on it, which would be no good and give no bonus damage to a Trooper. So you would have to find gear not only to your correct armor types, but that was actually going to benefit you stat-wise. And the colors were, uh, would signify the uh, bonus. So this was likely going to be a willpower boosting Datacron. It's the green, I think. This, is, this says it's endurance. I'm trying to remember what the colors were. I thought green was also aim. So red was strength, orange was cunning. I'm guessing blue might have been aim, and maybe I'm mistaken. I mean, it has been a while. I almost thought aim was green. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's been too long. Not that it matters now, because all four of them, the power stats have been rolled into one called Mastery. 
So, heroic areas. Heroic areas used to have heroic 2 and heroic 4 mission areas. They've all been rescaled so that you can complete a heroic mission simply with your companion, even though you may want to do it with at least one other player and make the heroic go a bit faster. Heroic areas have enemies of increased danger than the normal enemies you may encounter out in the wild. Okay, we have a bonus mission as well to defeat 30 of the Typhonian droids. Start to pick up some of the power cells. Normally you would probably do the heroic mission, at least this heroic mission, or other prelog hero heroics with your first companion. But, oh well. We are quite powerful. for the power cells we needed to grab. We actually have our first champion enemy, the Typhonian Law Guardian. Let's give it a challenge, shall we? some heavy armor for our trouble. Unfortunately, we can't use it as a sentinel, but no matter. Right, let's insert these uh, power cores, see if the machine's still alive. Hello. 
Is everything working? Stupid machine. Must have rusted a long time ago. Translation matrix initiated. Power restored. Performing full systems check. Energy level critical. Data storage critical. Speech and intellect nominal. Network access none. I am the gatekeeper. I have slept for over 20,000 years. I am approaching total systems failure. You have me at a loss. What exactly are you? I am the information and speech engine of Kaleth. I control data storage, system logs, and historical archives. I appear to be dying of extreme mechanical damage. I do not recognize you, but I was not made for curiosity, and there is little time before I cease to function. I can transcribe any information you desire to a permanent record. This will be your only chance to recover my data. Can't you be repaired? No. I am suffering from a cascade failure. The flaws in my engine are multiplying exponentially, and my death is inevitable. I am not worth mourning. Among the units of corrupted data, the histories of two of Kaleth's great lords endure. With the last of my strength, I can provide you with either the history of Lord Avamaravash, the warrior poet, or the history of Lord Maravada, the silent. I need knowledge I can use to fight an evil empire. Then look to the works of Avamaravash. He was a passionate and dedicated guardian of Kaleth before becoming our leader. Avamaravash, the warrior poet, was a sponsor of the arts and a lover of many women, while Maravada the Silent was a philosopher and a recluse. Avamaravash fought wars and built monuments to our people's glory. Maravada's reign was a time of peace and learning. You must choose whose history to keep. <sighs> I'm sure in a time of peace, Maravada would be more appropriate to the Jedi. But we all know the Empire is going to reignite this war at some point. Preserve the history of Avamaravash, the warrior poet. As you wish. This crystal contains the knowledge you seek. Let Kaleth and Tython be remembered. My purpose is fulfilled. Power drain is complete. Systems now terminating. Goodbye. Goodbye, Gatekeeper. And so completes the Chamber of Speech Heroic Mission. You have to be careful when doing heroic missions, especially if you want to do the bonus mission. Make sure you complete the bonus before you complete the primary objective, as heroic missions, like a few others, like a few other quests you can pick up, auto-complete. And because we completed this heroic mission, we gained a pommeler's lockbox, containing two pieces of armor. Obviously the armor's rating is determined by our level at the time. Now, as we get, I think, to level 60, maybe level 65, the rewards from lockboxes will change to something different. But for now, I don't mind grabbing tiered pieces of armor. Probably better what we're going to be getting on the worlds we're visiting. Right, this is the same as what we have, but a higher quality of what we're wearing. Yeah, slightly better. 40 extra armor, a positive 5 extra stats. But we are level synced, so you know, those stats aren't a major uh, factor right now. Think someone's just getting inside of the chamber. If 
fighting their way in. Okay. You can go towards the flesh rate of base of operations. There's still something else here in the ruins of Upper Kalef we can actually look into. And that is just around here. A fellow Jedi who's looking a bit, uh, a bit confused. Ah, it's impossible. Why would my master assign me a trial that can't be done? Is something wrong here? Oh, you startled me. I didn't see you approach. My master says there are valuable materials behind that boulder over there. But get this, the blasted thing can't be moved. My instructions were to go to a platform in the ruins. Meditate and let the force empower me. But I've meditated till I can't see straight and nothing. You admit defeat? You're just going to give up? What else am I supposed to do? So I'm going to get drummed out of the order because I can't move a rock that can't be moved. It's absurd. Hey, what if maybe you could help me? Are you good at this meditation thing? I don't know, but I'm game to try. Oh, thank you. You're a lifesaver. So, just kneel at the altar nearby. Supposedly, if you find deep inner peace, you'll be able to move the boulder. If you fail, I can tell my master it wasn't just me who couldn't move it. Huh. Well, I suppose we can give it a go. Mmm, inner peace. Inner, inner peace. Hong Har. Okay, let's give this a go. A rock, it lifts to reveal nothing. Absolutely nothing. You did it! I can't decide if I'm ashamed that I couldn't do it or happy that my mission is complete. It was supposed to be something important behind the boulder. It would appear we were mistaken. But... Indeed. Master Quiljake, why are you here? Wana wada blota wi jawa. O wama wanka matuske. Manji do ti puna puna. Kabuk nuni slemo. Kunta chuta. Kasu ya li kurira. Kanki kum. But, Master, it's not my fault. I didn't ask for help. I, I, I tried to decline. That is simply not true, Master Quilljake. Kunamo. Uvan Chone Alipa. Eastin Goto. Wonki Atajakapa Donka. Jisa Bicha. Kutogi Kumpa. Chiji no Lia Makichisa. You. It's all your fault. You ruined my chances. Kunamo, Uvan Chone Alipa, Eastin Goto. I had the clarity to commune with the Force. What do you think of that? Ki Batu Batu, Manchi Do Ti Puna Puna, Kabuk Nuni Slemo. O Kakiza Spida Perupa, Gadwa Shiniko Higa Danulia. I'm tremendously honored. Itusta Barawanga. Ne suburkobo pomo? Yes. Yes, Master. Imache. Churon chika chiliska chanaga. Yeah, I'm sure I have uh, Fingild's thanks here for getting him drummed out of potentially becoming a Jedi. Jedi who fail? I'm just kind of drummed out the order. They're put in lesser positions like clerical staff or farmers oh we have a security chest over there yeah not the real exciting illustrious career that a jedi actually believes they actually will end up on okay 
edlen derfi a kalle hob kerek a tenger kelet wiesel mi az Master Orgus sent me to drive back the flesh raiders Os this hajot a kik nek the neve Es tabo la meg minil uge Oze disazos homa leban Me rego mosdu la lan fele Jacob S. Elenga Agiob. Powerful or not, there's no one else coming. Is as Allah Sony Parton as Allah Tokisal. Okay. Seemingly, this place is strong in the dark side of the force, and the flesh raiders are using it. To enhance their selves. Seemingly they managed to get a hold of his lightsaber. Ooh, level 14. We have a bonus to defeat 10 of the savage adepts here. Raiders. There's the bonus mission complete. We're clearing out this cave. It's the Flesh Raider Blade Wielder. Taking that lightsaber off your hands. Ah, great, it's broken. We were a bit too rough in fighting the blade wielder there. Let's go report our success. The Flesh Raider camp's out of commission, Master. But they were all Force users. They killed a Jedi named Lauta. His body is in these ruins. What should I do? Go reclaim our fallen lady. Just got a distress call from the Twi'lek settlement. They spotted Ben Moore. Our forces are spread out dealing with the secret camps. We're the only ones who can handle this. I'm on my way to the settlement. Meet me there. Okay. Seems Bengal's actually making his move on the Twi'lek settlement. Right. Uh, you might as well... We'll head back to the the small camp. Greetings. You are cleared for the following travel routes. Get ourselves over to Kalikori Village. Everything seems in order. I mean, there's a few burning bits of debris or barricades, but no one, no one panicking. Hmm. Master Orcus responded to your distress call. I was to meet him here. What happened? Nothing. We didn't send any distress call. Things have been quiet since you left. 
I haven't seen or spoken to Master Orgus. <laughs> Someone sent Master Orgus a distress call from here. Who was it? I'm sure it's a misunderstanding. Your master will turn up. Why don't you stay a while? You must be exhausted. Stop it! What are you doing? Matriarch, step aside. Handing over the girl's master wasn't enough. This Padawan has to die. Benglemore refused your terms. This is to save our people. You lied to my face. How could you do that? I had no choice. There are too many Flesh Raiders and not enough Jedi. Benglemore came to me, said he'd end the Flesh Raider attacks if we gave him your master. He asked us to kill you too. But I said no. I told him we'd keep you here. You'd be safe. And my people would have a protector. If we don't do what we're told, Bengal Moore will kill us all. Bengal Moore is a monster. When he's done using you, he'll kill everyone. Don't resist. It'll only make things harder. Uh-oh. Ah, oh, it's a shame it came to that. Why didn't they listen to me? It wasn't supposed to be like this. I was going to save you. Save us all. Bengal Moore wants to destroy my order, and you handed him my master. There's still time to save them. Bengal Moore took Orgus to someplace called the Forge. Reactivate your droid. It might know where to find them. You can forgive me, can't you? You've done terrible things. There must be consequences. You're right. Tell me what I should do. Surrender to the Jedi Council. Confess your crimes. The settlement will be better off without me. All I've done is get people killed. That's a debt I have to repay. I'll go to the temple immediately. I hope you find your master. Great! Please, excuse me. Others require my full attention. Yeah, I'm sure they do. Oh, you cleaned up the bodies already. That was fast. I blinked and they're gone. Bengal Moore took my master someplace called the Forge. Do you know where that is? <sighs> These Twi'leks deactivated you and tried to kill me. I had to defend us. Okay. T7 mentioned there's a archive droid that has detailed knowledge on the Forge. Put us in communications. I am A4PO, Jedi Archivist. How may I help you? Transmit everything you know about the Forge to my droid T7. That area is considered highly dangerous. May I inquire why you need this data? You want a memory wipe? Just do it. Well, really? I'll report your behavior to the Council when they return. Transmitting data now. <laughs> Okay, we might be in trouble with the council after this, but, uh, uh needs most and all that jazz. So, we actually get to choose a unique appearance, or, well, I say a unique, a skin, I suppose you could call it, for T7 if we so chose, rather than his just default appearance. There are more customizations down the line. Um... You know what, I, I might keep your default, unless I find another customization later. Okay. 
So we have T7 back with us as a companion. And once again, this is a perfect place to take a break. When we come back, we'll be on our way to the Forge, which is quite far to the south of the area we know here, or can explore on Typhon. And hopefully we'll find Master August and his former apprentice, Bengal Maw. Thank you for joining me once again here with even more Star Wars The Old Republic. As always, feel free to leave a comment if you so wish. And hopefully I'll see you for even more next time. Until then, though, take care. Bye-bye now.